What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode. In this episode, we're going to be looking at getting the True environment, as you can see right here, True release. And we're going to update it through the Chrome OS side of things and not necessarily through the Crouton side of things. Now, uh, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, the reason I'm really making this video is more or less for these people that don't really understand Linux. Uh, I get a lot of questions and comments uh, regarding the most tedious things when it comes to Linux. So I'm just going to go ahead and really you know, take care of this right now. Uh, what we're going to see right now is the end life for the releases. So chances are majority of people when they installed Crouton is they just installed the command pretty easy. So if I open this up right here. And the command, oops, this is going to be our creator right there. I always say thanks to this gentleman. He is the reason why we have Crouton available. Um, but when I come down here and I'll show you the quick commands, which is going to be this one right here. Chances are you've ran this command, whether it's with XFCE or with Unity on the side of it. Uh, if that's the case, that means that you are on precise, which is spelt like this right here, precise. And that is 12.04. Uh, even though that is still supported, um, it's probably best to go ahead and update to 14.04. Uh, you do not want to update to 12.10, 13.04, 13.10. As you can see that their termination date is going to be within six months. So there's no reason to jump on those. Uh, all the developers and all the other programs have already moved on to 14.04 at this time. So to actually update it, it's pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and enter this first command right here. And as you can see, it says we're going to need to replace that root name by the name of your root. And it says the example is raring. Well, the example I told you is going to be precise. And that is if you installed it directly from the scratch, you know, no added commands to it or anything like that. And if you've added some commands, you'll know you've done that because it takes a little bit of extra knowledge, not too much, just, a, you know, just a split understanding of what to add then you'll know you'll need to change it to quantal raring or saucy. So what we'll need to do is press control alt T. We'll come up and open our crush. We'll then tape in shell. And we'll go ahead and paste that in. And as you can see, I need to remove that. And if you are on precise, you'll just type in precise. I'm going to press enter and it's not going to let me do this because I am already on trusty. So if I come in here and I put trusty in, there we go. So you should have something similar to this no matter what. It just depends on uh, this part in the very beginning trusty. Some people have uh, precise some people have something different and that's totally fine you know we're all gonna we're all gonna end up at the same place at the end uh, so what we need to do next is go ahead and install this uh, update manager so make sure you get it all press control copy come over here i'll paste it press enter i already have everything installed so it's not going to install anything for me it'll say that it's already upgraded updated any day now and there we go as you can see and finally the last thing we're going to do is going to be do release upgrade so what this is saying is please after we've installed the update manager we can now run the uh, direct command and it's actually going to tell our you know our crouton or our um, our root to update itself to the newest version so just go ahead and press do release press upgrade press enter I don't have anything. Uh, it's not going to find anything for me, but for you, it should find something if you do need an update. Uh, it should take about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is. Uh, what we're going to need to do next is we're going to need to update our Crouton environment. Now, in order to do that, after you've updated, you can just close this page and then press Control T again, shell, and this is where we're going to do it. Now, you do need to remove that root name again and type in what, whatever you have. Now, if you're coming from precise to trusty, you're still gonna need to type in precise right here. We're gonna change the name of precise in the next step. Uh, if you're on raring, you'll type in raring. If you're already on trusty, just type in trusty like I did. Oh, and you do need to make sure it says sudo in the beginning. Type in your password again. And I'm not gonna have anything but no matter what, it's going to run this command every single time. Uh, even if you don't have an update available, it's just going through all your files. The last command that we are going to run is going to be this command right here. And what this command is saying is we want to edit our true and we're going to edit the name and we're going to name it saucy. Okay, 
So as you can see, Raring is the first one and Saucy is the next version as it goes 0 0.04, 0 0.10. So it goes into numerical order. So what this is saying is you actually don't put the name you want to change it to last. You actually put that first. So kind of, you know, as far as understanding, majority of times you probably think that you would put the name that you are trying to change first and that you want to change it into another name. So actually you want to do it backwards. So for example, you'll need to come in here again. And as you can see, this is the command right here. If I copy it, put it right here. What I would need to do if I'm coming from precise to trusty, I would go trusty precise. And so that's just saying the command, press enter, and it's going to change your command. Once you've changed that command, you will then need to remember every time you do the update of your true environment, you'll just need to put the whatever name you've changed it to right there. And that's it. Pretty simple. Uh, again, if you do have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.